Hello friends, family and other creatures of the sea and welcome back to another high level game of Starcraft 2. Now this is a game that will whet your appetite as in the bottom left, spawning as the blue zerg player playing for Team Kaisi, it is Rainer. And in the top right playing for Shopify Rebellion, it is a Beyond. And Beyond is opening up with something a little bit tricky here. It's an opener that we see in TVT. We even see it in TVP every now and again. But in Terran vs Zerg, this is rather uncommon. He's starting with a gas before his initial barracks. This is also known as a gas for first build order. It delays your barracks by about three to four seconds. So rather than it finishing at 127, it should finish at around 131, 132. It will get you 50 extra gas, but it gets you less minerals. And often with this type of opener, we see Terran players not scout to preserve those extra minerals that they usually would have. So it is slightly more risky, but it allows for a factory that is a solid 18 second quicker. If Rainer had opened up with a pool first here, I say that this game, I wouldn't say it's over, but it would be very, very beneficial here for Rainer. But because that isn't the case and it's just a hatchery first, the only real downside for this build of Pion is going to be that his Reaper will be delayed by, like I said, four to five seconds compared to a more normal type of build order with a barracks first. So this might sound small, but the first two Hellions will be out quicker. This is guaranteed going to go into a second gas at some point as well so no fast triple cc opener very very interesting very interesting builder that we really don't see a lot in this matchup i i actually can't recall the last time i saw this specific opener in this matchup so uh, a big change here coming out of beyond rainer on the other hand is uh not aware of it. Technically, he could be aware of it just by the Reaper timing and could make a mental note of it. It's like, hey, this is for sure going to be a double gas opener because this was a gas first. Uh, Bian also faked moving out with the Reaper. So forces out the links if Rainer hadn't built those yet. And then just make sure to go and look around in case it's a pool first. Don't forget, Bian does not have any information yet. We know that it wasn't pool first, but Bian does not have that information. Third base is going to get thrown down here for Rainer, who's also working on these uh, unbuildable plates. Manages to take him out. The reason why these unbuildable plates are here is that if they're not there, then things like a, a, a pylon block, like a double or triple pylon block, would completely block the ramp. Same with bunker rushes, are practically impossible to stop with that type of opener. Now, Reaper's going to jump up here. We see these four links. What are they doing? I'm not so sure what they actually are doing, but I guess they were trying to the standard to, to catch the Reaper. Bian isn't going to be caught though. He ain't no Pokemon. He's a human. You can put those in Pokeballs. Nice try, Rainer. Ooh. Creep Tumor! He's going to get sniped here. That's one snipe, one kill, and an important one. Was the first active Tumor. Or of course, was put down on the high ground, then moved down. <coughs> Good start for Bian, I think. If you get any damage whatsoever with a gas first Reaper, that usually is good. Like I said, it is delayed in the early game, even used to the scout around. So yeah, getting anything done is kind of big, honestly. Speed has finished up at this point. They were seeing a bit of a chase. And this chase might actually end poorly here for Bion. Oh, is he going to get to the high ground? He's not. Good surround there out of Rainer. Micro and goes links like he really cared about them. Almost controlling them individually. Full up is not going to be a Hellion build. Like there will still be a couple of Hellions, but this is not a. This wasn't a reactor Hellion build. Just now did the factory and barracks swap over. So these six Marines are hunting for Overlords, and then the follow up is going to be with more Hellions. This could go eventually into something like a Hellbat attack. Yes, as we see the armory go down, it is quite a common thing to happen. Ooh, is this Marauder? No, it's not Marauder. It's just going to be Stim. I guess it would kind of be too late for Marauders to start producing now. I think this is the second Overlord that's going to get taken out. The first one also died. Two Overlords, a Creed Tumor, and two Links have fallen so far in this game. But don't forget that Bion just... Does oh, it's going to get another one, actually. Bion doesn't want to take any real damage on these Marines. Doesn't want to take any real damage on this Medivac either. Because his actual push isn't this. This is just the harassment. This is just the initial pokes. Trying to get your opponent's supply blocked. And then follow up with that Hellbat attack. And just like that, Rainer actually is slightly supply block right now. Can't build anything. It's floating 400 minerals, 7 larva. And here comes the push. This is going to be 7 Hellions, a Viking that can land. And we have a crap ton of Marines at all. 
Now, the main thing in this type of defense is that you often want to kill the medevac as quickly as possible. Because the medevac provides the healing, kind of the sustain for this push. If, however, you can't get to that medevac, Zerg players often are in trouble. And these Hellbats will just never die. You already see one, two Hellbats, three Hellbats being taken out so far. And with these eight Queens, I do believe that Rainer is doing a pretty fantastic job here. Staying alive, at least initially. Maybe one more Overlord can get taken out. Viking could jump into the air, is not going to. 46 against 56 workers. And we see a 5-rex follow-up coming out of beyond. So this is what we would consider a two-base all-in. Or at least some very... Ooh! Actually, going to get cancelled, of course. Rainer is quick enough. This is a very heavy, heavy pressure where it's difficult to transition out of. And thus, we usually speak of an all-in in, in this type of scenario. Not so sure if this push can make the grade, though. It's gonna hit rather late because of that initial pressure. We see combat shield is just now starting. Uh, the second tank will be late. Very often with this type of push, it's of the essence that you hit quickly with it. And because the initial Hellbat push didn't achieve much, except force out a couple of links, I'm not so sure if Bion can actually realistically follow up with this. We see no reactors on these barracks. Reactors, of course, take 36 seconds to build. So if you want to hit before that 36 second window, it's better to just build two or three Marines. Then you have more Marines with that initial push. And sure, you'll have less reinforcements coming on later, li coming in later on in the push. But your initial, the, the initial power burst is a little bit higher with, with three, four, five extra Marines. So you see these two medevacs being produced. Uh, otherwise, right now, the reactor would finish and the first real wave of two marines would start so four extra marines are going to be with this push because of that there's a little bit of theory behind why we don't see any uh, any add-ons on these barracks just purely because you want to hit as hard as possible with this initial initial burst here two tanks are going to set up this is still largely on creep rainer already has a fifth base going up and this might seem like a mistake like why would you build a fifth base against a two base all in but it's quite smart because what terran wants to target with this type of attack is the fourth base so, if Rainer can pretend that he cares about this fourth base, but in reality he doesn't, he can be way more patient with setting up a fight. Way, way more patient. He doesn't care if his hatchery is going to take a lot of damage. Usually you'd be forced right now to attack. Rainer can still maybe attack and try to go for a fight, but he doesn't have to. And you see here he makes the very patient decision to not go there whatsoever. He says, okay, I can just wait, I can relax. And now Beyond will need to rotate away. Or need to continue pushing up here. Now, there are some units behind him. Um, kind of waiting to pick off reinforcements. Centrifugal Hooks hasn't finished yet. But it's about to finish up. And this is kind of what Rainer wanted to buy time for. If you have Baneling Speed, any fight against Tank Marine is going to go so, so much better. Now, the reinforcement path on this map is extremely small. So trying to pick off reinforcements often is extremely difficult for Zerg players. Overlord's going to get picked off in the middle of the map. We're only working with 61 drones. None of those are actually mining on this base. We see there's quite some... Uh, um, some minerals being banked up. Also a decent chunk of gas. Now that could of course go into banelings. We already have 32 banelings. Maybe 10, 12 more could be filled as well. See a bit of a flank being set up right now. No 2-2 two -two on the way here for Rainer. So Rainer is focusing on getting something going right at this moment. Banelings coming in from the far back. Good target fire on the tanks on the right side. Banes. Uh, the banes on the left also are not going to get their connections. Tanks will probably get taken out here and 3-4 Banelings stay alive. More links are in production. The larva count is zero at this moment. There's a crap ton of queens with 12. And because there are a couple of Banes here, I do believe that Bion can't continue pushing forward. If there were no Banelings here, I think with pure marine, with the upgrades that are, with the plus one upgrades, I actually believe that you can fight these queens if you have five, six medevacs as well for healing, despite there being no tanks. But even if there's just three, four banelings, it forces the marines to target those. It forces the marines to micro back. We saw one or two banes even hit. Uh, Rainer is moving around with this army. I wouldn't mind if he actually goes for the reinforcements. These queens will be capable of holding the fort for at least a little longer. Tank with plus one upgrade is taking out these banes at a very high pace. Two liberators are being rallied in as well. Not in the greatest position though. Need to be a little bit further in the back. Perhaps good target fire out of Rainer is going to be taking out one of them at least more bailings rolling in as well as these marines are falling 
low, low in HP. Medifex out of energy, but so are the queens. Five queens remain as we've been going for 10 minutes with a two base push against the four bases of Raynor. Raynor is going to give up this third base. Banelings are going to get sniped and I think this might actually just be it. Overlords are, well, running away, trying to get the safety. There's plenty of Overlord capacity though, so that won't be the end of the world. We still have this third base, but at the same time, I mean, this looks bad for Bion when it comes to the mining, but he has the ability to just lift a base, fly it over to the third if the main uh, actually ends up mining out. And there's of course more income still for Rainer because he does have the 56 workers, and all these workers are divided over more patches than Bion's workers are, but ah, this still looks bad. Rainer needs a fourth base. He's going to get the bailing nest right now, a starting plus two carapace, and actually been getting it for a while already kind of missed that plus two carapace is going to be big because then he's going to be up in armor upgrades versus the uh, attack upgrade of the opponent and in zerg versus terran that is extremely big for the zerg terran always would like to be even or one ahead when it comes to attack versus armor that's not the case here. fourth base is being rebuilt rainer still struggling to get that supply out 115 supply against 132 Beyond playing this very carefully, don't forget these medifacts were low for a long time. There are eight medifacts, so there has to be some new ones. Yeah, okay, we have four new ones. I actually think that Beyond might be playing this a little bit too slow. Here comes a run by in towards the third base. Banelings do not want to attack into that Liberator. Hmm. Beyond's going to get one or two more Banes here, I think, with those Stimmed Marines. No, it's not going to change any further. Fifth base on the way as well here for Raynor. Don't forget, every time you build a fifth base, that does cost you 300 minerals as well as a drone. Not sure if this extra base was necessary. Love the burrow play though. In the type of scenario where there's only two command centers forcing out scans, A to clear creep is great, but also if you just burrow once, your opponent will have to scan every single time he's moving off creep, which is also a massive deal of course. Rainer is maybe planning on setting up either a run by or a counter attack. I'm not sure if he knows yet what he's going to be doing. Bailing's moving in. Okay, this is a burrow position, that's for sure. A couple more seconds and burrow will finish up. Plus two melee on the way. Uh-oh, here comes Rainer. Wanted to try and catch this army. He's just going to push it back and then burrow two banes on the way back, isn't he? That is the plan. He wants this army to not be near his creep right now. So then he can, yeah, burrow a couple of banes. Brilliant little play here. Don't forget, this is a fifth base and thus isn't necessary to defend. So despite this being a very good position for Beyond, I don't think Raynor actually cares. Raynor's immediately going to expand towards the far left. Still down in supply, we have plus two vehicle weapons on the way for the tanks, as well as plus two attack right now for the Terran army. So upgrades are being added in slowly but surely. Here comes a run by Depot, is going to get raised. Good move here. Out of Beyond, don't think you want to show the burrow off quite yet. Here, boom. Rainer just in time. I also was just in time with the observing there. It's tricky to do sometimes. Uh oh. Here comes a big Ling Bane attack. Actually going to clean up a lot of the Terran supply. Still not entirely sure who is winning this game. It felt like Rainer was that for a long time. And it still feels like there's going to be a timing with these tanks, with these liberators, and with this insanely high marine count. If Rainer doesn't get some lucky Bane connections, I'm not so sure if he can actually fight this. Sure, he's up in upgrades, but his actual bailing count is quite low. His eco sucks. This might be a good fight. Two tanks are going to siege up immediately. A couple of bailing mines still uh, spread around the map. We have six hatcheries currently. Two being constructed at the same time. This liberator can get taken out by the queens. Queens need to rotate over towards the far left side, though. There's so many queens still alive as well. This is potential for a big run by. Now, Beyond doesn't know if anything's burrowed here, so he'll need to scan again, just in case. That can be extremely frustrating. Oh, there we go. Scan. See, kind of on the edge of creep. Not even really to clear creep, but more to make sure there's no banes there. This is such a, a tough position to engage into, though, if you're Rainer. All these tanks on the low ground. Uh oh, oh. Hiding behind the trees. Liberator tank in the far back as well. Right side army. I think there was something there, but it seems like it got cleaned up. Not so sure what it was. Left side base is going to get taken out as well. As Beyond once again starts pushing in to the former third base location. Flank being set up from the back perhaps. Hive on the way as well. So Rainer wants to continue on this low eco. 
into getting more upgrades. Tank in the fireback actually already uh, taking a couple of big pot shots. Big surround coming out of Rainer, though. We see the pickups, but this is going to be completely crushed. This push gets well, destroyed, honestly. I'm surprised by that. Good engagement. Practically a 360 surround here. Couple new banes are gonna get burrowed, don't forget. We're still working only of two command centers, which means a very limited supply of energy. Double drops head towards the far right side. Rainer played this out so carefully, so slowly, in such a patient way, as we now see the natural float over to a fort base as well. Rainer still on low worker count, is rebuilding that left side base. Is this one still alive? 60 workers. The moment he loses 10 workers though, income is gonna be pretty close. Income is going to be pretty darn even. Two lips being constructed. I wouldn't mind if these lips... Oh my god, there's so many liberators already, actually. There's four out currently. There's no real anti-air except for queens. And this could be an issue. This one tank is moving way too far forward. Tank on the high ground will siege up. We have a flank, a burrowed bailing flank. That's something you don't see every single day. This fight is also something you don't see every single day. Yes. I do believe that Bion is actually winning. It lost 18 workers, but crushes the fight. Four lips are still remaining. Twelve queens are here. We now have vipers on the way. I'm not sure if I prefer vipers or adrenal glands first. I actually think adrenal glands might have been the better call. You still have these left side bases going up as well. You definitely could have stalled until then. There's only three tanks remaining, but perhaps the liberators are the real unit that scares Rainer currently. We even have an ultra cavern on the way. That makes a lot of sense. There's not a single Marauder. There's no possibility for Ghost. Lips are good, but against 3-4 Ultras, you need more than just 5 Lips. This base is definitely going to end up falling. Would love to see a counterattack, but these are Queens, and they're not great at counterattacking. Maybe this army can go for counterattack. I don't think you can engage into this, Rainer. I just do not believe you can engage into that. It is absolutely not possible. Yeah, this is the army that is kind of set up to deal with any counterattacks, I guess. Beyond could potentially just push forever here, no? Among this bottom side. That's exactly what he's doing. No ultras on the way. There's no money for ultras. I mean, one ultra isn't enough. You're gonna need three, four in order for them to be really effective. Lip sieging up. Uh-oh. Tank's also moving in position. This base gonna get absolutely blasted here. Left side Link Bane army will take out, uh, or at least push back these marines. Can we get a counterattack going? Perhaps we can actually. Ooh, I love that burrow. Brilliant little burrow. At this point it feels like this, this little army needs some reinforcements. Continuing to just push on by themselves is not it. Link's going in for a run by. Um, we'll catch some of these marines, we'll catch the tank. This army is still going strong as well. First Ultralisk is out. Three Vipers have been out for a while. Parasitic Bomb is a real possibility. So is Blinding Cloud. Let's not forget that Bion is not quite ready for these Vipers. He hasn't spotted them yet. Here comes Rainer. Can we get a Blinding Cloud? We get a Parasitic Bomb. We get another Parasitic Bomb. And an Abduct here on that tank into the Blinding Cloud that just got placed. GG gets called as Rainer actually makes the hold after 18 minutes and 29 seconds of two base action out of Beyond. Look at this. Got plus two vehicle and plus two uh, attack upgrades here for Beyond. That was pretty sick. That's a pretty wild game actually. Very nice. But Rainer so patient in his defense. Is going to get the hold. That is going to be it for today. Thanks all so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, uh, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And hopefully I'll see all of you next time for a new video. Thank you and bye-bye.